Hi and hello to everyone here on VariaCraft. The Varia Monster Guides is going to start with our good old friend, the zombie. So I say all the beginners around here, but also all the professionals, let's kick into his behavior. In the daylight, zombies will burn to death slowly unless they can find any shadow like this tree. So, uh, boop. there we go. And if he gets exposed to the sun, he will slowly burn to death. He will take one damage per second until he is fully burned down. Zombies might not look that special, but they actually have an ability, which is their sight. They can see players from a distance of 40 blocks, which you can see right here, while other mobs, uh, or at least most of the other mobs, can only see you from 16 blocks. So that means that Creeper and that Skeleton have no idea I'm here, but this boy definitely does. There is also a spider over there, which also only can see you from... 16 blocks. So this is actually also a clear reason why when you're fighting in the night There are always a lot of zombies around you because they just see you from a lot further Zombies are great to start with especially when they're on their own because if there are other monsters around it's already a lot harder even if it is more zombies so before we get started, we need to notice how fast we can attack. And you can see that by looking at the little sword that is underneath the plus or uh, the crosshair on my screen. So that means, right now I'm hitting at full efficiency. Because that sword needs to be full before you hit. If you hit before that, you will result in dealing uh, very little to no damage. So that means... Uh, you always need to watch that before you uh, start clicking like a madman, because then it will take hours to kill him. Then, we can also see when we will be able to hit them. And to do that we need to look at him, and at some point, yes, we will see a little plus appear underneath the sword, and also the sword will just appear. And this will show that we will be able to hit him. So if we click at the same time that plus is on our screen, we will be able to hit him. So let's do that. And I even got a carrot, which you will see more about in the special facts. But, uh, yeah, so that's exactly how it works. If you feel like he gets too close, which I had before I hit the last hit, you can always just walk a little backward. As long as you just keep an eye out for that plus, so you don't hit, uh, hit too early. And uh, you can actually hit him, because if you miss your hit, it is guaranteed for him to slap you in the face. Oh god, no, that's a baby zombie. Help me, help me, help me. No, don't do it, don't. My good sir, you are for a different video. So, check out the baby zombie video or wait for it to upload if it's not uploaded yet. Uh, let's continue on. Once you get more experienced, it is actually good to use an axe. Well, an axe is slower, as you can see. The sword takes a lot longer to come up if I compare it with the sword, which goes way faster. But the axe does more damage. And then there is also something called a critical hit, which you will need to uh, take down the zombie efficiently. Oh, I thought there was a hole I fell in for a sec. But yeah. So what you got to do for that is you need to hit the zombie as soon as you fall. So not as soon as you jump, but as soon as you fall. So that means now. Now. And now. You can also do this with a sword later, but you will need more hits since the zombie has uh, a good amount of HP. But then you can do it like this. As you can see, this is very tricky timing and just barely possible. But if you trained enough, you can do it. But with an axe, it's way easier. So what we do is we stand still, and you need to learn the timing, and like right before you see the plus on the axe, you gotta jump, and then hit him while you fall. And if there uh, are falling uh, a small amount of stars from his body, you know it is a critical hit. So let's see. That was perfect. So now, now that we dealt one critical hit, you can still just use the axe and just mow him down. Because... The axe does 9 damage in, in basic, it does 50% more with a critical hit, and then plus 9 more damage, he is just dead. 
And this is actually the second zombie that dropped something special with us, which is an iron ingot. So I'm lucky today. You'll probably come across a point where there are multiple zombies. For this, you can use your sword and its ability uh, to hit with a sweeping edge. So that means if you stand still and there are multiple targets close to each other, you will also deal knockback and a little bit of damage to the other targets, which makes it easy for you uh, to maintain a little bit of space. So let's try that out. As you can see, I don't even have to walk back that much. But of course I will have to. And there we go. So that is how you take down multiple zombies. If you are really with your back against the wall, you can try sprint attacking. This means you sprint and then hit him while you are sprinting. This will deal significantly more knockback and so and doing so you will create more space for yourself. So I'm gonna lure him over here to get in a good position. That this wall over here, I cannot get across this. So I sprint and hit him. And as you can see, I'm hitting him back a lot more, which means I create space for myself. And like that, I'm no longer trapped in a corner. You can also do this with two zombies, but that's a lot harder. So I'll save that for the professional tip. For the professional tip, I'm going to do something called sword dancing. This is only doable with zombies and other very slow monsters, so don't try it with creepers, spiders or skeletons. But what you do is you keep jumping and critical hitting them to quickly kill a whole horde of zombies without getting hit. And I do all this while dancing around them by continuously jumping and holding my sideways key. So let's go. Whoops. And that's how you just mow them all down. It takes a lot of time to get used to, but once you get used to it, it's very useful because there will be a lot of zombies around you when you walk around at night. The tip I mentioned earlier is also very useful uh, with two zombies. So, uh, let's see. I'm actually in a real bad position here, I should have thought about that. But, cannot get across this wall. So if you just keep quickly, one after another, ouch. Sprint attacking him, you can actually keep him on a distance fairly easy. I just took one hit there, but mistakes happen. Sometimes zombies will drop potatoes, iron ingots, or carrots. The vegetable. This is a great way to obtain those vegetables, because uh, otherwise you can only find them in a village. So this is a great way to start uh, farming them. Pig, that's, that's not for you. You know that, right? However, and also the ironing it is very useful for just, yeah, crafting things with, you know, even though mining it is way faster, because those drops are pretty rare. Uh, if a zombie sees a villager, it will try to attack it. If it can kill it, it will turn into a special kind of zombie, which is a zombie villager. Even though villagers are actually most of the time way too fast to be caught, sometimes they get trapped into their house or in a corner and get killed. And we will see, yeah, what happens. Even though I won't think this will happen to this guy, so I'll do it with a little trick. Then this will happen. He will turn into a zombie villager and will also try to attack you. Uh, you can cure them by, f uh, by throwing a potion of weakness onto them and then feeding them a golden apple. Which is pretty expensive, but maybe worth it. So, thank you all for watching this video. Uh, maybe consider liking the video if you uh, actually liked the video and these tips were helpful. And make sure to subscribe if you like more, uh, if you would like more of this content and actually the monster guide for all of the monster types that exist in Minecraft. And of course, I will also update it whenever new uh, monsters will be added. So, see you guys.